Uh, that's not a video. All right. Now we're recording. All right. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. There's two videos here I'm going to share with you. And rather, see, earlier today, this morning, I recorded with my camera. Ext Let me try this. You know, my external camera. Well, it's about that big. Whatever. And went to uh, it was a, a great uh, praise and worship about the Lord. Not prophecy, just scripture and pictures. And it was very um, uplifting for Sunday morning. Okay. I went to put it in, uh, put the com camera's little cord into the USB port. And my whole computer blacked out like, like it had been fried. Just like what happened to the MacBook Pro. So I'm like, oh, no, not again. And I just, I tried different things. Like the other day, before I got the Geek Squad on, for off and on all day, the other day, I hit Control, Alternate, uh, F10, F12, whatever is up here. Yeah, F12, I tried F11, F10, I was a bunch of different keys. And I made it work that way the other day. But today it wouldn't come on. It stayed black screen. Nothing. No lights on. No nothing. I said, oh, brother. So I thought, well, I'm going to get on my phone and see if I can make a YouTube video with my phone. And I, and I ended up um, letting the ones who bought me this computer know what happened. Because it's a couple with uh, Team Jesus. Grafted in Team Jesus. Bought me this computer. And so I could continue to be on their meetings with them every night. And I can do it on the phone. I just can't see what they're presenting. Because all I can do is hear. It's too small. And I wanted to let them know that I could join them on my phone. I just couldn't see it, you know. Well, anyway, long story short, I couldn't share that video then. Later, I went to just, for the heck of it, I just said, I'm just going to try it and see. Because I said, Lord, I prayed over my computer. I pleaded the blood of Jesus over it, over the motherboard, the, all the hardware, everything. Last night, I did again after I made that video. I said, I don't really understand this. How has he got rights to my stuff? You know who I mean. Satan and his minions and the people that work for him. All right, so here I am. I'm. It's time to go to bed, but there's two videos I want to bring to you tomorrow. Kathy is going to help me tear my computer back down to like it's brand new and reinstall Windows and everything because the CPU was running at 100%. It would go down to 98, 96, back to 98, back to 100. Now, this evening it was lower after sh we worked on it for an hour together late this afternoon before the meeting tonight and got the CPU where it was going down in the 20s and even teens and then it would go back up to 100 so there's something running in the background all right so having said all that that's why I'm just doing this what the way I am because I want y'all to be able to click on the links and see these videos if you want I'm just going to briefly tell you about them this one came, uh, one is from, I got from, uh, somebody shared it with Team Jesus, and this other one came in my email. All right, so I'm going to click on them and hope they just pull in front of the camera, but you still see me. All right, this one is by Steve uh, Danoon. Excuse me, Israeli News Live. But it's on iconnectfx.com and he's going to talk about something that he can't talk about on YouTube. There's just too much you know, you take a chance on um, getting a, a community guidelines strike, you know, if it's something they don't want you talking about. Well, the title of it is Pentagon Scientists Fear La Palma Catastrophe and E.T.'s Plan for Humanity. All right. 
Now, reading between the lines, he's not talking about es extraterrestrials from another planet, y'all. Uh, I believe he knows uh, that it's fallen angels. If you didn't know that already, that's who aliens are. They do live on this planet. They work underground in the deep underground military bases with a for real bunch of men in black, CIA, the deep state. All right, so I'll have that link in the description box. You can go to I Connect FX and watch that if you want to. And he's sitting on here with the, here's his sweet wife. This looks like Carrie Madej, but surely not. Dr. Madej? Well, it's blurry to me. I, uh, I can't really tell. All right, now this other one is more of a... Uh, no, that one I'm saving. I'm going to upload that video in the morning that I recorded this morning. This one is very interesting indeed. It is um, the sister, very anointed in the Lord titled this game over you're in the new nwo and she's put that in uh like quotes there's this new game out it actually came out september 23rd this year it's a, a squid game i believe she called it we watched it on uh the grafted in team jesus i got off at a quarter to nine to take my dog out and then I wanted to jump on here and share these with you if you don't watch but one of these this is a 17 minute 32 second video I beg of you to try to watch this one she's talking about this game and how evil it is it's a squid I don't know if she called it a robot. Anyway, it's a new game. And um, a video game that all the kids are going to want. People want to buy their kids the latest video games. And she really gets down <laughs> and starts kind of yelling how people are just sitting on their couches and watching their TVs and playing their video games and uh, don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> She's just I just think you'll enjoy it because she just slap out tells the truth, okay, about the times we're living in and why, you know, or how it is, is so many people are just oblivious to it all because they're so mesmerized by TV and their their world, their worldly possessions and their worldly things and what have you. There's somebody putting something else on signal. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do was share these two videos and give you the opportunity to click on the links and go watch them for yourself if you if you want to. But this, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one by our, let's see, her name is NWO Nemesis. Never heard of her. But, um... Uh, Boy, I'm, I'm still, I'm shivering in my spirit. It's like I'm cold, but I'm not cold. I had to turn my fan on. But I'm just, like, with excitement at the hour at which we are in, brothers and sisters. And Kathy got a revelation as we were going over a message uh, that a brother in Christ had received and someone sent it to her and we were going over it and there's a big deal with September 23rd and you're going to say well this is October uh, that's already come and gone and then one of our this, the ladies on the team she's been getting visions she got one yesterday that had an upside down backwards 21 but just backwards it's 51 and 51 means a sin of ignorance. And we believe the 21 stands for this year. 
This is the year of the sin of ignorance. You know, Hosea 4, 6 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge because they won't listen. And that's a lot of what this woman's talking about is just how people won't listen. You try to tell them stuff, different stuff. It can be different things, not just one thing. And, they, and people are like, Oh, that's, I didn't hear that on TV. They don't lie to you on TV. You're, you're a conspiracy theorist or, you know, this is just some things we were discussing. You know, the team members were discussing how if you're not right on there with the mainstream media, you're a conspiracy theorist. And it's like, okay, you know, <laughs> My people perish for lack of knowledge. They don't want to listen, and you just wipe the dust off your shoes and move on. You know, that's what Jesus told the apostles when he sent them out. Well, there were 70 people. He sent them out by teams of two, two by two, ahead of him before he'd go into a city. They, he sent them out to go spread the gospel that Jesus is here and he's coming to talk. And you better repent and believe and so forth and so on. He told them if... If a town doesn't accept you, wipe the dust off your feet and move on. So that's all we can do is do our best to share the gospel. Try to tell people they need to repent and get right with the Lord and make Him their Savior and love Him most and love one another and read the Word so you'll know what you're supposed to do and not supposed to do and, you know help one another as you can and are led and I guess that's it in a nutshell I could go on and on but it's getting late and I still got to pray so I'm going to let you go with that and just I just pray that pray that we can all be found counted worthy to escape these things that are to come upon the earth like this you know the Palma thing it doesn't look good people for those who live on the east coast in Florida the Gulf of Mexico New Orleans the message received by the brothers spoke of Monroeville that's near New Orleans. It's right near the New Madrid Fault. This huge influx of water will put so much pressure on that mouth of that Mississippi River it could very well set off the New Madrid Fault. This is not fear porn. Don't even put that in the comments or it'll be deleted. People need to be warned. They need the opportunity to repent and if you have tried and tried and they just oh you're just spreading fear you're just fear mongering well wipe the dust off your feet and move on you know you do what you can we all just got to do what we can whether it's sharing a video or telling it by mouth to someone you know, maybe you work with them, maybe they're your neighbor, maybe you run into them at a grocery store, you tell them what you know, they either accept it, go home and repent and get right with the Lord, or they don't. Yeah, their blood is not on your hands. If the Lord puts it in your head, hey, tell them what you heard this morning. Tell them what you heard last night. Tell them I'm coming soon for my bride. But they'll have a chance to repent and get right. If you haven't committed the sin of ignorance. If you get my drift. Okay, I'm going to end it here. And say, God bless each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over each and every one of us. Our devices. Our internet connections. And say, I pray I'll meet you soon. I pray I'll meet you soon. I'm looking forward to that big hug fest up in heaven. Getting our glorified bodies, our instructions. And coming back. And helping 
those who are still savable get saved, get right, get healed, deliver to their demons, feed them, they'll be hungry and thirsty. A lot of things will be going on. But we will have the wherewithal and the power and the ability to deal with it. Jesus said we would do great exploits. And he said greater things than these shall you do. Meaning greater than what he did when he walked on the earth. We shall do. Alright, with that I'll say bye for now. And I uh, hope y'all heard it all. I'll talk to you later.